In this week's Weekly Funny Jokes, we bring you our best joke compilation of the week. These jokes are sure to make you laugh from the first one to the last one. This week we bring you three jokes, starting with a joke about Snow White, until we end with the best blonde joke ever told. So sit back, get the popcorn, and get ready to laugh until your stomach ache. In today's funny Snow White joke, we give you some twists and turns on the age-old story, like you have never heard it being told. As usual, though, we must first delve into a bit of history to get to a lot of comedy. Snow White is an original tale dating back from the 19th century. The story was written by the Brothers Grimm and released in 1812 as part of a fairy tale collection. This collection also included other classics like Cinderella and Rumpelstiltskin. It has also been suggested that the base of the story of Snow White originated from the real-life story of a Countess Margarete von Waldeck and her alleged lover, Philip II of Spain. In the mid-1600s, she was poisoned at a young age. The suggestion is that politics were more important than real love in this period. The story normally ends where Snow White and her prince live happily ever after. But strap yourselves in for today's comedy, as this is where our story begins. So, Snow White and her prince went on retirement. The kids are all out of the house and the two of them are living alone. One day the prince went on a fishing trip with his friends and never returned. She seldom heard stories of him and his friends having a good time with all the ladies, but she never saw him again. Now Snow White is living in a little house in the forest. Her body is old and of the beauty that she once had. There is very little left. Her body is aching every day as old age is playing its trick on her. As the prince made some bad investments in his life, there is very little money and life is just very tough. The only highlight every day is her ginger cat that has been with her for many years. He sits on her lap every day, and it's the only thing showing a bit of love to old Snow White. As the curtains were coming down on the life of Snow White, and she approached her final days, lo and behold, the fairy godmother appeared to Snow White. The fairy godmother spoke and said that she was looking into her crystal ball and saw that Snow White was in a bad state, and she thought it good to pay her a visit. She came to give Snow White three wishes. So, Snow White, what will it be? Snow White were ecstatic and said, Firstly, if you can turn back the clock on this old body of mine and take it back to a time when I was still in my prime in the forest. Immediately her wish came true, and Snow White was once again the beautiful young woman she was in her early twenties. She could feel the youth running through her body like the first time she put eyes on her prince. Secondly, dear fairy godmother, my prince left little money at all after making all these bad investments through the years. A bit of money to ensure I will never again have financial concerns would be very nice. Immediately she was presented with a coffin filled with gold. Not only will she never suffer financially again, but she will also be very wealthy. And what will your last wish be? the fairy godmother asked. Well, Snow White said, my cat Smokey was the only creature that has always been on my side. Always so reliable, warm in the winter and entertaining me in the quiet times. He always made time to sit on my lap and cuddle with me. Is there any chance you can turn him into a prince? With that, the fairy godmother disappeared. Immediately, Smokey were turned into the most handsome young man Snow White have ever seen. She can feel all the urges in her body coming alive again. She immediately starts to cuddle up to this lovey young man. The young man kissed her softly in her neck and then whispered in her ear, I bet you are very disappointed now that you had me spayed.
In today's greatest story joke, we touch a sensitive nerve with an hilarious outcome. Ever felt like Cupid needs a GPS and DNA test instead of a bow and arrow? Today's joke is all about dads with hearts of gold and maybe a touch of matchmaking amnesia with a drop of telenovela without the dramatic music, of course. Get ready for a hilarious joke of mistaken identities, blind love and one very confused son. But let us briefly delve into some history before we attack the comedy. Adultery is probably as old as the mountains. Indeed, adultery seems to be as universal and, in some instances, as common as marriage. The Code of Hammurabi, dating back almost 4,000 years ago in Babylonia, provided a punishment of death by drowning for adultery. In ancient Greece and in Roman law, an offending female spouse could be killed, but men were not severely punished. This is the base for our joke today. So buckle up and smell the incest in this very funny joke. One day the son burst into the living room, his heart doing a jig that would make a tap dancer jealous. Dad, I'm head over heels in love. Like, literally, I keep tripping over my own feet when I see her. The father replied, son, that's unique. Who's the lucky fish in your pond? The boy answered, Emma. Dad answering with his eyes wide like a cartoon character. Emma, isn't she? The neighbor's daughter, yes. The son replied, his stomach performing a synchronized butterfly backflip routine worthy of a gold medal. The dad answered, oh no son, you can't date her. She might be your sister, but don't tell your mother. The son was very disappointed and just walked away. Two weeks later, the son, ever the optimist, bounced back with another love of his life announcement. Dad, Cupid struck again, he declared, eyes shining with puppy dog fever. This time, it's Jennifer. The dad replied, oh no son, I would stay away from her as well. She might also be your sister too. So the son walked away once again, extremely disappointed in his father. The son continued his whirlwind tour of near incestuous crushes, leaving a trail of confused girls and increasingly exasperated sighs from his dad. Maybe Cupid needed an optometrist, or perhaps the son just had a thing for forbidden fruit. One day the son had enough. He went to tell his mother all about this. After telling her the whole story, he said to her, Look, Mom, I admit my dating pool might be a tad shallow, but come on. Eight girls, and Dad thinks they're all related to me. Maybe I should start carrying a family tree flowchart on first dates to clear things up. The mother looked at her son in a comfort way and said, date whoever you want to date my son, because what your dad don't know is that he is not your real father either. Once upon a time, blonde jokes were all the rage. From light bulb quips to orange juice punchlines, they were everywhere. But there was this one blonde who have had enough. But before we jump into the joke, first let's talk a little bit of history behind the joke. So, you know those gorgeous blondes with their radiant locks? Turns out, it's not just luck or a fabulous salon trip. It's all in the genes. See. There's this sneaky little genetic variation that decides, hey, let's dial down the pigment production. And voila, lighter hair shades are born. Now, here's where it gets really amusing. This whole blonde phenomenon is like a survival strategy, straight out of a comedy sketch. Picture this, our ancestors, living in regions with as much sun as a vampire's basement, needed to soak up every bit of that precious vitamin D. So, Mother Nature thought, hey, let's lighten things up a bit. Lighter hair and skin tones become the latest fashion trend, all in the name of maximizing sun absorption. Fast forward a few millennia, and suddenly you've got entire populations rocking the blonde look, like it's going out of style. 
Who knew that getting your daily dose of vitamin D could be as easy as switching up your hair color? So next time you see a blonde bombshell, just remember it's not just good genes, it's science. So, there's this blonde who's had it up to here with all the jokes about her hair. I mean, she's heard them all. The light bulb jokes. The why did the blonde stare at the orange juice jokes, you name it. So, what does she do? She decides it's time for a change. And I'm not talking about a little trim or a new shampoo. Oh no, this blonde goes full on rebel mode and dyes her hair black feeling like a whole new woman with her brunette locks. She's itching to show off her transformation. So where does she head? Montana, of course, because nothing says fresh start, like a road trip to visit her sister in the Wild West. But here's where things get interesting. As she's cruising through the picturesque landscapes of Montana, she runs into a traffic jam like no other, a herd of cows, and not just any cows, these things are like the Great Wall of China, blocking the entire road. And who's trying to tame this chaos? None other than a rugged farmer, who looks like he's straight out of a coveralls commercial. Now, our fearless blonde, not one to be deterred by a little cattle blockade, marches right up to the farmer and channeling her newfound brunette energy. So she said, listen up, cowboy. If I can guess how many cows are in this herd, can I have one? The farmer, bless his heart, is probably thinking, this woman has about as much chance of guessing this correct as he does of winning the lottery. But hey, he's game for a laugh. So he says, shoot, darling, knock yourself out. And what do you know? Our blonde bombshell goes and nails it, guessing the exact number of cows in that stampede. The farmer's jaw hits the floor, but he's a man of his word. So he said, well, I'll be darned. All right, pick your cow. So our girl scopes out the herd like a seasoned ranch hand, and she spots the runt of the litter, figuring it'll fit nicely. She picks out the smallest cow and loads it into her car like it's no big deal. But just when she's about to drive off, the farmer calls after her. Hold your horses, honey he says with a grin. Before you ride off into the sunset, I've got a proposition for you. If I can guess your real hair color, then can I have my dog back, please? <laughs> if you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.